we're now on another video. We're going to be doing a bit of pig hunting. I think we'll get more pigs this time than the last video because um, it was a bit weird how they weren't getting around. But so we're up on new property, uh, really good friends, and I think we're related to them, so which is good. Um, really know them really well, and uh, we're going to head up there. And it's about over a six-hour drive, something like that. And uh, so we've got all the gear here. Dad's in the car and the trailer. We've got the dogs in here. We've got bringing Cooter and Shikova, the new pup coming on, having a go, her first trip. And we've got old Alby. He's gonna jump in the front um, because it's his last trip probably because he's getting old. We've got all the gear and we're ready to head off. Okay, so about four hours and we're at Lachlan River now. Um, we stayed the night so last night we got here around one o'clock and um, the Lockman River is just behind us here anyway we camped here and now we're off um, heading straight to the property so I reckon we'll see you there okay so we just um, rocked up to our spot we've been it's been a hell of a day we got here about 11 o'clock and um, we're on the property of course and just good like grass thick a meter high everywhere and um there's the dams haven't even got any pig sign on them and it's just pure beautiful country for pigs and we're, the people said they've seen heaps of mobs of pigs but we just haven't seen any sign of them so we'll be going out for a spotlight tonight and we'll bring the dogs as well with us but um we were going to a dam to camp but when we're at a different dam i'll show you in a minute and um, the axle on the uh, trailer broke, so we had we were stuffing around that with that for ages. We had to do jack it up and um, get all that done. So we're going to hopefully Monday get uh, some new parts and um, get them welded on and get that all fixed up. So we're just about to get some two minute noodles going, so we can go have a spotlight out on the stubble. Um, I'll show you the dam right now. It's a dam here. Dad's setting up for a fire, and um, we've got the trailer there, a new different trailer. This is one that the farm bloke owns, and really helpful to lend us that just for time being until we get our trailer fixed. We've got all our gear in here, and we got some um, yabby nets we're gonna chuck in here too, try and get a feed of yabbies. Dad's just gonna light that fire, and we'll see you out um, spotlighting. Okay, so we've just come back, um, we didn't get anything, we didn't see anything, um, we saw a fair few foxes though, um, I had a shot at a fox and that, um, was 30-30, but we're back at camp and we're going to get up like really really early in the morning to go work them stubble crops. So we've just um, had our dinner and we're about to go to bed, I've got my swag here and um, Dad's got his over the other side of the wagon and we're going to go to bed to get up really early for a hunt in the morning and um, hopefully we get something. Just wait till they stop. Yep. Ready? Stop moving. Get them. Shoulder. Good boy. Hang on. I'll get him on the run. Get a bit of an opening coming up. Yep, here we go, stop. Ready? He'll come out there. You ready? Got him. I don't know where I hit him though. There he is. Yeah. Little sound. Got him in the vital spot or, or it wouldn't be dead. Yeah? Yeah. Good shot. Alright, so what we're going to do, we're going to cut some meat off just around the pig for some uh, yabby meat for the dam so we can get some yabbies. I just caught this. We just turned up to a dam and I just caught this little freshwater turtle. And as well as like a sick ass little frog here too. Try and get him. Yeah, look at that. Cool as frog there. And um I got a turtle as well. Right here, full of wildlife. There you go, bud. And um so I'll let this, let this turtle go, just in here, 
back in the dam. It is. That frog I let go, there's something wrong with him I reckon. He's not swimming real good. Right there. Alright, so that we've just gone along this road here to put some yabby nets in the dam and there's a heap of quail in here so I'm hoping to put up one. I have to shoot it a long way away because uh, we've got number fours, we don't have seven and a half so they're a bit heavy bullets for um, quail so we're going to let them fly a bit further. Missed him. Alright, so we just turned up at this dam after having a shoot at some quail. Um, we got two quail in the back. Um, anyway, we pulled the nets up. I thought I had it on film, but we pulled the nets up. We're going to put them back in, but I'm going to walk them out this time. Go in the dam, walk them out deeper. These are in shallow, and we got some absolute monster yabbies in here that's like one of them right there is huge yabby and there's three in that net and the next one's got heaps like 10 in there oh these are all monsters dad look at that yabby I wouldn't even call that a yabby that's like a crayfish He's huge. Look at the claws compared to my fingers, my hand. It's bigger than my whole hand, that yabby. And very strong they are. And we got about, that's how many we got in two nets. Look at that. It's amazing how many yabbies you can get. And that's on a bit of that pig I shot this morning on his leg. Um, I'm there, really happy with that. He's trying to get out of here. Just walked out a bit from the bank and we're just gonna throw him out a bit deeper. Yeah. Yeah, drop him down as, as best you can because that's um, how they work. Okay. Oh! I just got this monster yabby in that drop pot and that was really fluky because he was on the edge of it. Yeah, he was on the edge of it and I was walking out there too and I disturbed the water a bit. That's why he's on the edge, I reckon. Yeah. Nothing like being on the edge. Look at that. That is a massive freshwater yabby. Oh well, that was very, very successful. We got a heap of massive yabbies just in them few nets. And um, we're gonna go back to camp and cook these up. Okay, so we've got the boiling pot in here now and it's got some dam water. Dad's just got some salt. And how many handfuls? Oh, just a couple of good handfuls. A couple of good handfuls of salt right. in the pot. One. Two and a half or whatever like that. Yeah. All right, yeah. so the water's boiled. boiled. And we're gonna chuck the yabbies on there. Monster. <laughs> so they'll be cooking in there for about under eight minutes. And um, they'll be unreal, absolutely beautiful. Big freshwater yabbies. Look at that, there's one big yabby. They're gonna be beautiful to eat. It's a whole tray of them just over there. Look at that. Mm. 
perfectly cooked. Just de-husk it like this, pull that tail end off thing there. Break either side of that. Right. And dip it in the salt there. Put the salt on there. Perfect. Alright, me and Dad are going to finish off these beautiful yabbies. Alright, there have just been some pigs under here. I think the dog's got old one. Big, big pig over here. Yeah, and there's a massive one. They got older one here. She's got it though. Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Yeah, I left mine too. I got him. Good job. Yeah. All right. So we um, just started walking up to this through this thick scrub area, and um, we just caught this really, really nice sow. Um, she's probably. Oh, probably 60 kilo, a very nice sow. Um, and there was an even big one that was massive, big black one um, that took off, but there was too many trees so I couldn't shoot it. I bet the dogs got hold of this one. But um, there's a bit of water in here, about 500 meters, and we reckon that's where um, they're staying because we haven't seen any sign of pigs anywhere. Um, like there's no footprints or diggings or at all through here. And um, it just shows that they're here, and you don't even know that um, they're even, like there's no tracks, so you can't see that they're in here. But obviously they are. And this pig's got mud on its nose here, so it obviously means she's been digging up somewhere um, where there's water. So it might be back in here. So Dad's just gone back to get the water, and we'll um, keep walking. All right. So after that pig, we've just walked right up here, um, and there's two dams. A little one that I'm sitting at here now, and one big one behind me. And there's a heap of pig sign, and some heavy pads coming towards these dams. So I reckon there will there'll be pigs sleeping up just over here, through the long in the long grass, and um. They'll be sleeping under trees and that, and we're gonna walk there to with the dogs just through there to see if there's any pigs there. And then um, we're gonna go to another dam which is just over here. So I got the gun there, and the, there's pigs on all over these dams. It's just packed with pigs on, and a lot of it's old and a lot of it's fresh. So yeah, and the other one's even bigger than this dam, massive dam and um, it's got some nice pigs on there so we're gonna get the guns here and dad's just over there and it's a heap of rub marks and stuff there's one even behind me just there and we're gonna go try and get some pigs sleeping up I threw a little rod out here with a piece of pork and I caught this cool as looking fish and they're biting like crazy just in the dam like these dams aren't stocked or anything these dams have just got fish in them and I'm getting bites like right now on a bit of little little tiny hook and some pork and I'll try and catch another one for you to show you uh, they're just crazy little things yep
that's the fish there. He's bleeding a bit in the gills. But how cool are they? They've got like gold spots on them. And I don't even know what they're called. And they're living in this dam. They look like a little perch of some sort. Let him back go, that little fella. Alright, so we've changed our tactics. We've gone just to a weightless one to see if we can um, get them with that. Got him. Yep. Oh. Got him. Swallowed it, I think. What? Swallowed it. Got him. Oh. Put him pretty much straight out of the water. You know, just chuck him in here. Here he is. There he is there. Really cool looking fish and they got a nice big gob on them so you can fit a hook in their mouth. But I don't know what these are called. They only, I've caught, hooked one tonight that big but got off. Um, but they're pretty cool looking fish. Oh yeah. Oh. He's a bit better one. There we go. There's another one of them little tiny fish. They're really, really fun. Like, they're only small, but they're so fun. On the rod, they got a big, powerful tail too. There you go. <laughs> All right, so we've actually come back to the dam and we're gonna check the nets. Oh! Dingleberry! <laughs> I like it. Well, they haven't even eaten the meat. They haven't even been in there. Just caught this little... This little freshwater turtle here. Little fella. In the shirt it. Look how cool his eye is. Not letting you go. Who is there? Very cool there. Cool. Look at that. What's going on there? Go on. Heavy? Uh, So after that little fishing session, I um, we went to check the yabby nets that we put in and we had nothing. We were really shocked about that, like well, how we caught so many the first time and then the second time there's none. We, there's more in there. We didn't catch them all indefinitely. Didn't catch them all. Um, but yeah, didn't get any there. We went for a spotlight as well last night and didn't get anything as well. So it's now 12, nearly one o'clock the next day and we've already packed the car, packed everything up and we're about to head home um, and we'll probably get home maybe 11, 11 o'clock maybe at night time. So um, it'll be a good drive. We've just had a shower in this old shearing shed shower thing and um, dad's in there now. I've just finished having a shower. Anyway, we got all the stuff packed in there and in the trailer and the dogs are in the trailer. So we're ready to head off. So um, it was a bit all over the place, this video, I do think. Um, but we did have a really, really nice time this trip. Um, three pigs. I shot two at the start. Um, and then uh, we got one in the scrub when we were walking through the bush with the dogs. So um, the, what's happened is the last three years have had a major drought here and it's killed all the kangaroos and all the wild pigs. Um, so they're just starting to breed now. 
So I hope you liked this video. Um, it was a really good trip. Me and Dad had a lot of fun. Um, make sure you put that thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Um, comment if you got any questions about any equipment or just in general you might have any questions. Put that in the comments. And um, subscribe and that will help me out. So I'll see you on the next one.